Hi, and thank you for choosing Foray. Today, we'll show you how to rename your input and output signal, how to change the number of screens in your multi-viewer, and assigning each multi-viewer windows its own signal using your HVS 100's web GUI. If you're experiencing issues on connecting to your HVS 100 web GUI, please see our video tutorial on how to access your HVS web GUI. Now let's begin. Starting at the home page of your switcher's web GUI, please click on the set up button. We'll start with renaming our input signals, accessing your multi-viewer, and after that we'll rename our output signal. So please click on the input tab. Then click on the rename button. Clicking on the rename button will automatically take you to the rename section in this menu. You can also scroll up or down to view this section as well. If you have tried to rename your signal before using the F dial knob, then you'll know it can be tedious and time consuming. Here, just simply enter a name and press enter. Your input signal's name will instantly change in your switcher. The section under long means that it is the long form display of your naming with up to nine characters and the short section means that section will display up to four characters. So let's change input one to camera one for the long display and cam one for the short display. Let's change our second input to playback for the long form and PB for the short form. In case you're in front of an output monitor and are doing this remotely from off-site, you can view your multi-viewer on this web GUI. To do so, please scroll up to the top of the web GUI and click the home button. Then click on the bus trans button. Here you'll see a familiar layout that resembles your switcher's panel. At first glance, you may notice that you're only seeing the short form of your renaming. This is because displaying the short form is the factory setting. So let's go into the multi-viewer settings to change the display to long form names. Please click on the home button. Then click on the setup button. Now please click on the output tab. Then click on the MV button. In case your multi-viewer doesn't look like ours, in the DVI for Division section, please click on the drop-down menu and select the layout that you like. For us, we're using the 10-1 Division layout. Now, you'll notice that after selecting your layout, you'll also see the web page reflect your layout changes. So to display your long naming convention, please click on the Character drop-down menu section and select Long for each multi-viewer window. You can also assign which signal is displayed in each window by clicking on the signal drop down menu and selecting its signal. We'll have each channel display their long form and also assign some to be the input and the auxes. After you have finished all of your input signals, let's go rename the output signal by scrolling up to the top of the web GUI page. Then click on the rename button. This section is the same as what we did earlier. The only difference here is that your auxes can accept the short form naming convention only. Sorry. However, your program preview clean and ME key can accept the long form naming convention. So for example, let's rename AUX1 to PGM and AUX2 to RM1 for room one. Now rename the other output channels to your liking. After you have finished renaming your output, please scroll up to the very top of the web GUI and click on the home button. Then click on the bus trans button. Now you'll see your input and output channels displaying their custom names that you have just entered. Well, well, this concludes our tutorial. If there are any questions you have or would like to see as a video tutorial, please email us at support at 4-a.com. Thank you for watching our tutorial and have a safe and pleasant production.